Hello users. Today, let's go back to the late 80s to explore the Amiga's professional side with Superplan, a spreadsheet program by Precision Software. First, let's take a look at the box. Superplan requires at least 1 megabyte of RAM. The back cover features four screenshots and a summary of the program's capabilities, which apart from the standard spreadsheet functionality offers among others time management with critical path analysis for managing your projects, as well as automation and application development through the use of macros and interprocess communication. Let's open the box and see what we've got. This envelope contains the program's disks and license agreement. Superplan comes on two unprotected diskettes of which the first contains the actual program while the second, some helpful examples. Next is the quick reference card where you can quickly look up the available special key functions, commands and operators. This is the user registration card. And a readme first sheet with instructions on hard disk installation and program startup. Although an installer is not provided, the installation itself is pretty straightforward. Just copy the program and optionally the example disk's contents to a hard disk directory and make the required assign or preferably, add it to your startup sequence. This is the copy protection dongle. It should be connected to the Amiga's joystick port for the duration of the program's execution. Finally, there's the user's guide which is quite big. It contains clear and easy to understand instructions with many examples and tutorials. The program can be started from the shell or workbench, with its screen type and number of colors being customizable by tool types or parameters. By adding the lace option it can run on an interlaced screen, which doubles the vertical resolution. Besides the manual, online help is integrated into the program which can be called up at any time by pressing the F1 key. Superplan has got all the features expected from a professional spreadsheet program of the 80s, including a plethora of mathematical statistical database and financial functions, sheet format and text customization capability with colors, headings and cell sizing, as well as calendar and time management. There is also customizable graph generation and printing for all common types, such as pie and bar charts.
Furthermore, the program taking advantage of the Amiga's unique multitasking capabilities supports remote control and data sharing with other running programs in real time, through a Rex. Let's access the program's Arex port from the shell and remotely issue some commands. First, let's write some text. Then move the cursor to a different cell. And then, some more text. Now, let's run a script of Arex commands for a more advanced example. As you can see, we can even do window resizing from another running task. The spreadsheet can be controlled in a similar manner from a custom application, broadening its capabilities, or even exchange data in real time with other programs such as the Superbase database software by the same company. Another useful feature is the ability to load and save files in the format of other mainstream spreadsheet and database programs such as Lotus123 or DBase. Lotus123 users in particular should feel at home with Superplan, as usage is almost identical between the two programs. Superplan is fully controllable by keyboard having a slash commands menu, very similar to the one found in Lotus 123. Though the program can also be controlled by the mouse, for tasks like cell and command selection, as well as choosing options from the pull-down menus, which Amiga users are more accustomed to. Screen splitting into two windows is yet another similarity. There's also the option to save cell ranges instead of complete spreadsheets. For example, let's save part of this data table in DBase2 format. Now we can continue data manipulation on a different computer, running DBase under CPM. This is all great for the 80s but what about the present, you may ask. Is it still usable? Superplan supports CSV import and export, which is a common file format still in use today. Let's import some data from my YouTube channel, showing the age ranges of the people kind enough to watch my videos.
by inserting a column to the table's left, we can issue some graph commands to generate three pie charts. Let's see the graph. As expected, most users are middle-aged kids, fascinated by the new marvel of technology available at home called the microcomputer. That's me. And I can talk too. Now, we can print or save this graph as an image to use with a word processor which has been running in the background. As we have already seen, a high level of automation can be achieved by using macros. Let's see a very basic example of combining them with cell formatting to create a data entry form. In order for the execution of macros to begin we can use an auto, which involves defining a custom key combination to perform a desired task. I've set it to the combination shown. Let's split up the window in two to view the additions to our data table. By saving the table as a dbase file, we can continue working on it from another computer. Now, for a final glimpse of the box contents. That barely scratched the surface of this useful program. But as you've seen I'm quite a professional computer. Work at the office was a bit boring for me though, so I was more into the fine arts. That's all for today, users. I hope you enjoyed today's episode. Until next time, here are some more videos for you.